All right, guys, so we're under the car. We're trying to figure out if we can mount the turbo in the middle of the car where one of the catalytic converters is, or if we can mount it towards the back. Um, if we can mount it in the middle, that'd be great, but I'm, I'm not convinced that we're gonna have the room to do it. So let me show you what we're working with here. All right, so this is the center catalytic converter. Uh, you can see that runs up to the headers there in the front of the car. I'm hoping to cut that out and be able to mount the turbo there. That would be real convenient and keep shorter, uh, shorter lines to everything to the engine. If we go to the rear, we may end up having to run a separate uh, oil cooler system, uh, which is back there. We know that there's going to be plenty of room um, back where the muffler is. So I'm going to take some measurements here and then uh, we'll find out if this works. All right, so we need a minimum of 14 inches, guys, width-wise. And if you can see, it looks like we're not gonna get that here. This is at like 13 and a half. Um, we could probably pull it off, but it'd be real tight. We'd have the inlet to the turbo almost hugging right up against this exhaust manifold here. Um, so that's gonna be tough. Now, maybe if we mounted it closer here, we could get away with it we'll have to see uh, it'd be much more convenient if we could mount the thing right here the purpose of the video today is to address this um, I think today I'm gonna do this we're gonna cut this section out and uh, just give it some round tube I'm guessing Lexus did this to quiet everything down but um, you know we want to hear the car a little bit obviously it'll sound much different when we turbocharge it but this should be pretty quick it looks like our bolts aren't even rusted so we're going to get a measurement here of the size of this tubing here, the diameter, and um, cut it out and re-weld it in place. So yeah, guys, there's where I wanted to mount the turbo, but like we just saw, it looks like there's not going to be enough room width-wise to do it. What I think may end up making more sense for us is to mount it here. We're going to have plenty of room if we cut out that Y-pipe and these resonators and mount the turbo right about there. Um, that'll give us all the room in the world and then we can run um, a straight pipe out the back and then just do another Y pipe um, to send it out to the muffler because we want to try and keep this stock um, sounding if possible. But yeah, I'm thinking right, right about here is where the turbo is going to go. Yeah guys, so the reason I'm so concerned with turbo placement here, I don't really want to do a full rear mount turbo, is I don't want to do a separate oil system and I also don't want to have oil lines running all the way to the back of the car. So if we can kind of do it amidship and get a 40, 50 inch oil feed line um, and then run a pump just to bring the oil back to the motor, that's kind of the ideal situation here. All right, so, all right guys, so there's the cat right there that we were going to cut out. Um, as you can see, that space on either side here is probably where we're best going to be served to mount the turbo because we've got enough width. It might be a little lower because of the drive shaft running through the middle there. Uh, but that should be a good spot for it. And you can see right in front of the cat is the uh, oil pan. So it won't be too long of a distance to run oil lines um, to and from the turbo. And we'll have enough space probably up near the cat to mount the um, oil pump. Uh, I was cutting this part of the exhaust off to get rid of that flat section right there. And while I was doing it, these resonators just fell right off. I guess the factory welds aren't so hot here. This just disconnected. That one fell first. Um, so we'll gotta, we have to re-weld that. No big deal.